SDS page can be used to determine the molecular weight of a protein relative to standards. Shown here is a typical SDS page gel after it has been run and stained. Samples were loaded here at the top and they migrated down through the gel toward the positive electrode. On both edges of the gel, um, standards of known molecular weight were loaded, shown here. For example, this very first band is um, 245 kilodaltons and it migrated two centimeters down into the gel. This third band is 135 kilodaltons and it migrated 2.8 centimeters down into the gel. In order to calculate the molecular weight of an unknown, we can plot the log, um, the log 10 of the molecular weight versus the distance that the standards migrated. I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel and we're going to figure out how to calculate the molecular weight of this band here at A that migrated 6.9 centimeters. Let's jump over to Excel. I've already tabulated the molecular weights of all the bands and their um, and their migration into the gel uh, here. So the first thing that we need to do is um, change the the kilodaltons into the log base 10 of kilodaltons. In Excel we can do that by typing equals, finding the um, finding the appropriate function. Let me cancel that. Let's do this. Equals log and we'll pick log base 10. Double click that and click this cell here that we want to um, make the log base 10 of. Close parentheses. Enter. Okay. So we calculated that. We don't have to do this for every one of the um, calculations in this column. We can instead highlight all of these columns here and we can go to fill down and Excel will calculate the, the comparable calculation for each one of these um, uh, molecular weights and kilodaltons. And it, it put a an exclamation, num exclamation point here because we didn't have a, um, a corresponding kilodalton here so I'm going to delete that. That is what we're trying to find out here. So now what we could do is we could plot this entire the the migrations in centimeters by the log base 10 of the kilodaltons we could do this and I'm going to show you how to do that so we say insert and we'll say scatter plot and we get this we could then we could then click these points and then right click on a Mac you would do this by holding control while clicking and we're going to add a trend line. We could add a linear trend line because this relationship is roughly linear. And we could ask Excel to display the equation of that line on the chart. Close that. Here we have this equation. I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger so that it's easier to see on this video. Okay. We could use this equation then to calculate. Um, the log log base 10 of the kilodaltons for this 6.9 um, this band that migrated 6.9 centimeters. This method would be this method is acceptable. However, it does um, have a overfitting um, problem where this line is really trying to be forced to fit all the points. A more precise way that we could do this and and even a, really a simpler way is we could plot simply the two closest standards to our to the um, to the band that we were trying to determine so we could plot simply the five band that migrated 5.5 centimeters and the band that migrated 8.4 centimeters and determine the line in between that for a little bit more precise estimate of molecular weight so let's go do that delete that so I'm gonna say Say the same thing. We're going to go to insert, scatter plot, and now we just have two points on this graph, right? And 6.9 centimeters should lie in between these two points. Click 
right click again add a trend line we want it to be linear we can display the equation on the chart okay I can make that bigger so you can definitely see this on your video okay now we can use this equation we can say we can come over here and we can say um, equals minus 0 0.088 and then we're going to say times 6.9 we can just click it times 6.9 plus 2.28 And there we've calculated uh, um, the log base 10 of the molecular weight. Then of course we want the real molecular weight. We don't want the log base 10 of that. So we could say equals, um, we could say power. And we could do, um, so we're going to do the opposite of the log base 10, which would be 10 to the power this, this cell. Uh, so here we've calculated that that band A, this band A right here, I mean this band A right here on this gel that migrated 6.9 centimeters is 47.4 kilodaltons. Now it's going to be your job to figure out what is the molecular weight of this band here, B. I'm going to give you one last pointer here. So when we do when we do the graphing, we could um, we could again select these two bands and make a graph between those two bands. I'm sorry. So we could we could make a graph between these two bands here. Um, the scatter plot, and you'll see that. Excel will decide sometimes to um, plot your stuff not how you visualized in your mind. So right now, Excel has decided to plot this versus this and this versus this. But we really wanted we wanted this column plotted versus this column. So if that happens, you need you need to just be aware that um, you know think about graph paper and think about where you would have actually put these plot these points. We'll say switch rows. And now it's now it's plotting in the orientation we wanted. One last thing that I'm going to show you that we should have done earlier is we should have labeled here. We should have labeled the axes. Um, that's important to keep the thing straight. So we can go to Add Chart Element, and we put Axis Title, and we put Horizontal, and we want to put Migration in centimeters. Log 10 the, the kilodaltons. Now this now this graph is more complete.